A major battle began today over copyright. Corporations truly will control our collective memories. Yeah, I think it's great. What right do you have to silence me? Want to go shopping? They don't have the right to stop you using their materials. You can never use it for anything without my permission. Censorship is bad for democracy. Publishers say Jib Jab is violating copyright laws. We need to start to assert ourselves as citizens, assert ourselves as creators. You have those rights. What's the big deal? Copyright expansion is un-American. <laughs> Here in New York, a federal judge will be asked tomorrow to decide a legal battle between the Fox News cable channel and a liberal comedian. The book is called Lies and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them, a fair and balanced look at the right. Well, <laughs> Al Franken had the brilliant idea of uh, making fun of uh, Fox News and other uh, right-wing figures by naming his book Fair and Balanced. Astonishingly, Fox sued him for violating its trademark because the Fox Television News likes to advertise itself as fair and balanced, and that's uh, apparently a trademark term. So it's a case of either you defend yourself or you, you let the, you let fair and balanced just slip into the public domain, like all right, all right. like elevator and cellophane and so on. This is an example of really outrageous conduct by, um, in this case, a trademark owner. Clearly, nobody was going to confuse his use of fair and balanced with Fox's. He was clearly making a commentary on it. You know, has the highest level of First Amendment protection. The judge in that case laughed it out of court, saying this was an utterly frivolous, ridiculous lawsuit. But what if you hadn't been Al Franken with uh, Dutton Penguin behind you to sue and Floyd Abrams as your attorney? Chances are you might not have even gotten that far and you would have had to change the title of your book. And that's really mo more commonly what you see is people who just can't afford it. I mean, actually, what, what we've seen over the years is what's becoming even more common are people who just don't make things or do things because they're afraid of some kind of action. This is not just some abstract legal, you know, stuff that's going on. The reason people should care about this is that they live now in a digital world. They live in a world that is in fact made up of copyright images and that their own rights to free expression are going to, are going to be restricted unless those freedoms are defended in some way. The clearance culture is basically the assumption that the copyright holder's monopoly is absolute that I can control every aspect of use in any form of any way of representing any aspect of a copyrighted work, and that in order for you to portray that work, you need to get clearance from me, the copyright holder. The cost of that is multiple. One of the costs is that filmmakers face very high prices for their uh, for documentary works. In a world where you've got a clear every single bit of artwork in anywhere in your shot, or where you can't include clips from other shows without getting permission, those people can't create their art or their expression under the existing rules. I mean, there are just tons of examples of this clearance culture run amok, and one example, a vivid one, is the song Happy Birthday to You, which can cost enormous sums of money if you want to include it in a documentary, because Happy Birthday to You is still under copyright. In Hoop Dreams, there was a, a scene with a birthday party, and they had Happy Birthday playing. You have to license Happy Birthday, and those costs can be $10,000, $20,000 for you know, a few bars of Happy Birthday. Copyright is control over ideas and speech. And the First Amendment is supposed to guarantee you know, freedom of speech. So in order to make first, the First Amendment and copyright you know, work together, you have to have these exceptions of copyright law called fair use. In a production such as this one, right, the, this, this documentary that you're watching, a producer could take small segments of copyrighted works, pieces of Star Wars or uh, photographs of famous people, and, and, uh, and use elements of them uh, in a larger work. And to do that without clearing it, without getting permission from the copyright holder, 
uh, relies on some faith in fair use. In response to the increasing influence of intellectual property laws, a significant movement that resists the assaults on free expression is growing. This movement is diverse and decentralized. Carrie McLaren and her organization, Stay Free, for example, mounted the traveling Illegal Art exhibit, which is also online. It features works of art that have provoked lawsuits, threats of lawsuits, or which are vulnerable to legal action. The genius of the show is that because it is an educational project, the Illegal Art exhibit is protected by fair use. And the purpose of it, and the reason we started it, was really to try to put a human face on the, the copyright debate and to kind of illustrate how the expansion of, of copyright law is really uh, affecting artists, artists who work in different media. For money. You, wanna, you, wanna you wanna test me in the courts? If we did not buy ownership, we bought exclusivity. And if you wanna try and check me out, and, and you go ahead and try and do something with it, and I'm gonna sue your ass. You can never use it without our permission. She was mounting this exhibit to make a point that uh, our ability to talk about our own culture, our ability to create new works, is severely curtailed by the, uh, the laws that are on the books. So what I think is really important, why young people need to know about this, is that if there's a right that you have that you never knew you had, you aren't going to complain when that right is taken away from you. If corporations take the rights away from from video artists today, they're going to be taking away the rights from you tomorrow. I personally am not a copyright basher. I view myself as a copyright defender. I think it's a great system so long as it stays within its bounds.